Hi everybody and welcome back to Love What You Eat. On today's episode, we are visiting Naples and we are going to be digging into the pizza type of dishes. Today's episode, what are we making? Pizza alla scarola. And we will show you just how easy it is to make coming up next on Love What You Eat. So we've already added our flour to a stand mixer. It is 300 grams of flour. We highly suggest you guys just, I don't even want to say invest because they're so cheap. Go on Amazon, get yourself a kitchen scale because when you're baking or doing doughs and breads, measuring to the gram or to the, to the unit is, is a lot more precise, especially when following certain recipes because everybody's measurement cups or whatnot is very different and also in different countries we use different measurements so when you get yourself a kitchen scale mine was twenty dollars on amazon we pre-measured everything it makes things so much more easier and you'll see that you nail that recipe so much more better That's right. so we have 300 grams of all-purpose flour mm -hmm. but what we are going to be doing first is blooming the yeast so we are going to put our yeast in some lukewarm water cover it with a plate and let that bloom and then we're gonna add everything else to the mixture, which is a bit of olive oil and some salt to the flour and let the dough hook do all the work. So yes, we can do this by hand, but we're taking the quick road on this one. The dough hook is gonna be kneading our dough for us a few minutes on medium to high speed. And then in a greased bowl, it will sit to rise a good hour, hour and a half. So that's basically as fast as it is to making it easy pizza dough and we'll take you in on a close look again to show you. Ready? Pronta. I know I'm a fast speaker. <laughs> Prontissima. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm roasting the pine nuts over medium heat. You wait till they get golden brown and then put them aside to cool them completely. Initially, I said that I was going to wash it twice, but if you saw I washed it three times, just make sure that all the dirt is out. It has to be clean. And there's no use adding water. Now I put it straight in a uh, large deep pan. I'm going to sprinkle it with a little bit of salt. And we're going to cover it till it starts wilting down and we'll put it aside to cool. And this is a semi-cook, correct? Exactly, it's semi-cooked because after it's gonna finish cooking with the, uh, the stuffing of the pizza. Perfect, see you soon.
And here we have it, perfectly cooked through. So, so delicious. This smells amazing with the olives, the escarole, the pepper, the roasted red pepper, the pine nuts. Honestly, such, such a beautiful, a beautiful stuffed fish. It's loaded with flavor. It is exactly loaded with flavor. Super light pizza dough crust. This is a different spin on, I would say stuffed, stuffed patties or stuffed pizza patties. This is a stuffed pie. It's a stuffed pie, but it's a classic from the, the Naples region. We hope you guys give this one a try. Again, as always, let us know in the comments below. And uh, before we dig in, what do we want to tell everybody? Continue to love, love what, what you, you eat. eat. Bye for now. Ciao. This looks honestly amazing. Okay. Oh wait, did we do the intro? We have to do